heart-wrenching and an emotional week, as you'd well imagine, after four Collin County teenagers are killed in a head-on collision. That also, though, applies to the first responders who worked that crash. They knew the students, they know their families, and they, too, are coping with the aftermath of what they witnessed. J.D. Miles, live for us in Levon tonight with that side of the story. J.D. Doug, people continue to stop and add things to this roadside memorial. While friends and loved ones remember the four victims, there are those who would like to forget what they saw here. When word that four teenagers were killed in a head-on collision, concerned families raced to this area near the scene on Highway 78. LaVon Police Chief Mike Jones knew that a nearby gas station was no place to inform parents that their children were dead. Honestly, the, the hardest part for me was, was when we went back and, and met with the families. The chief contacted city leaders who opened up the town hall. That's where the chief delivered the hardest news a parent can hear. He knows from experience. I lost my adult daughter six years ago, and so telling these family members that they'd, they'd lost their child and, and knowing there was just nothing I could say that would help them other than stand there and be with them and... It was just, it, it was heart wrenching. It was tough on parents and Levon's paramedics who came upon the bodies of four children they almost all recognized. You see these kids, um, I've seen them at school, um, I've helped teach CPR at the high school and stuff, and so I've seen these kids, and it's tough because we do know them. LaVon Fire Chief Danny Anthony and other first responders will have a chance to get help dealing with the trauma of what they experienced when they meet tonight with the Wiley Fire Department's stress management team. Horrific is a way to put it. Um, uh, this is going on 30 years that I've been in EMS and fire service, and uh, it's one of the worst wrecks I've seen ever. A wreck that took lives and haunts others on a stretch of highway that no one passing will forget about anytime soon. Hmm. And police say it will also be a while before an investigation is complete to explain what caused this wreck. There are plans for another vigil here tonight at 7. Live in Levon, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.